So first up, we'll have uh, Mr. Jamil Maksud, um, Jamil, uh, who is a political activist who fled Pakistan, administered Jammu and Kashmir. In 2000, he's part of a Hong Kong-based NGO called the International Human Rights Council, and has regularly spoken at the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva. Uh, since 2010, uh, Jamil has been lobbying the European Parliament and other EU institutions for the rights of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. And he was blacklisted for his activities um, by the Pakistani embassy in Belgium in 2016 and is currently stateless and living in exile in Brussels. After that, we have uh, Nazir Aziz Khan, uh, who is a politician and human rights activist and who also works as a consultant and a columnist. Um, Nazir was born in Pakistan at Minister Jammu and Kashmir and is the main representative of uh, NGOs to the United Nations office in Geneva. And he also works as the director of the South Asia Center for Human Rights and Peace Advocacy. And he's contributed to different human rights council sessions in Geneva, and has also spoken at the Interparliamentary Union, the International Labour Organization, and the European Parliament um, on issues surrounding the Jammu and Kashmir uh, dispute, especially in terms of extremism and terrorism, and uh, sort of broader human rights related issues. Um, after that, we have um, Sada Shaukat Ali Kashmiri, who's the uh, chairman, the exile chairman of the United uh, Country of People's National Party and Secretary General of the Jammu and Kashmir International People's Alliance. Uh, Mr. Kashmiri is trained as a lawyer and is originally from Pakistan at Minister Jammu and Kashmir. And he's been engaged in the fight for democracy, the rule of law, and the provision of human rights in Jammu and Kashmir since his student days. Uh, Mr. Kashmiri has been kidnapped twice by Pakistani security agencies and was kept in solitary confinement in 94 and 98. And Amnesty International then declared him a prisoner of conscience. Uh, he was released without charge after nine months of illegal detention and subsequently fled Pakistan. He now lives in exile in Switzerland. And since 1999, Mr. Kashmir has been regularly participating and contributing to sessions of the Human Rights Council in Geneva on topics including human rights, uh, extremism, terrorism, and the freedom of expression. And last up, we have my boss, Mr. Jeanette Qureshi, uh, who's the director of EFSAS. He's a writer and has been a columnist for various Kashmiri newspapers and has also been covered in Indian and Pakistani newspapers. He uh, specifically focuses on terrorism, human rights, uh, human rights issues, the Jammu and Kashmir conflict, and South Asian geopolitics. He's also written regularly for the monthly publications of the Atlantic Treaty Association, which is the advisory body for NATO's foreign affairs. And he specifically focused on cultural, religious, and social history of this Indian subcontinent with a particular focus on Jammu and Kashmir, where he's also originally from. And Junaid has a family in both Indian administered Jammu and Kashmir and on the Pakistani side as well. So it's a great pleasure and honor to welcome all of them here today.